What's going on guys? TTL here. Going to be giving you guys my top three MLB plays for today, June 28, 2024. Thanks for all the support on the last video. We're going to get into this pretty quickly. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and uh, hit that subscribe button guys. We've been killing it lately. Um, if you're interested in VIP, I do post all of my slips that I personally play are in VIP. Um, you can see we have been absolutely killing it lately. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just going to keep on killing it. When you sign up for VIP, you get access to all of this. So you get all of the VIP sections as well as the VIP chat rooms, VIP giveaways, things like that. Um, definitely, definitely recommend it, guys. And if you're new to prize picks, underdog, sleeper, chalkboard, any of those apps, use code TTL when you sign up and make your first deposit. Then join my Discord. Let me know. I'll give you a free month of VIP as well. Um, also, I do have a money back guarantee going on until the end of June, where it's $20 a month. If you don't profit on your first day, let me know. I'll refund you your $20. Um, so you do keep your month of VIP as well after that refund. So definitely recommend it. It's basically like a free trial. But let's get into today's picks, guys. Feeling really confident about all three picks today. Let's go 3-0, and and let's start off with our first pick of the day. Our first pick is going to be Tristan McKenzie. We're taking his over 3.5 pitcher strikeouts versus the Royals. Now, I will say, against the Royals, this is a little bit sketchy just because the Royals are a really good team at not striking out. I've been very surprised by the Royals this season um, because usually this is just not a team that I really look at, really. But uh, this season, they've been doing really well. I'm very impressed with them. Um, wanting to see how far they can go this year. But uh, right now, I do like McKenzie over three and a half strikeouts. This is just such a low number for him. And we're going to go take a look at uh, Outlier and see why I'm liking this today. And really quickly, before we do go to Outlier, I do want to mention DG Fantasy. DG Fantasy is a phenomenal app, guys, or website. Use code LIMIT, get 25% off your first month, and it compares all the sports books to the likes of Price Picks, Underdog, Better, Sleeper, all of these apps, and it lets you compare the uh, lines on sports books and get those positive EV plays on these pick em apps. So definitely recommend it. Let's head over to Outlier and do the research. So we're going to click on props right here. And we're going to click on propositions, strikeouts, apply. And we can see already at the top, we didn't even have to search his name, Tristan McKenzie. We can see it's around minus 130 to minus 140 over on Sportsbooks. And we can also see over his last five, he's cashed this in four out of five games. Last 10, he's cashed this in nine out of his 10 past games. And in 2024, he's cashed this in 11 of 15 games overall. In away games, he's cashed it in four straight, four out of five away games. Now, in away games this season, he's averaging 5.2 strikeouts with a median of five strikeouts per game. In this season, he has a median of five strikeouts per game with an average of just below five as well. He's going an average of five innings pitched per game. Last game, he only went three innings versus Toronto, and he still got six strikeouts there. And I just don't think he's going to have issues today. Now, like I said, the Royals do not strike out much. They are fourth in the league for least amount of strikeouts this season, 19.5% strikeout rate. Over their last 30 games, it is a little bit worse. Um, they are trending in a negative direction with a 20.8% strikeout rate, which is 12th in the league, which is still really good, though, um, as a team. Now, Tristan McKenzie, he does have an average of 21.8% strikeouts. He's right in right dab in the middle, 49th percentile. Now, strikeouts over nine innings, he's getting right around 8.7 strikeouts per nine innings. Um, and we can see versus the Royals, he goes from an 8.71 to an 11.81. So his strikeouts per nine innings does go up versus the Royals. Um, so that is something to look at. Now, he does give more hits to the Royals. He gives up more earned runs to the Royals, but he also gets more strikeouts. So I'm really liking the McKenzie pick today. It's only three and a half. He's been killing this line. I do expect him to give up some runs. I don't think this is like 
McKenzie, this immaculate pitcher that is just going to dominate the Royals. But I do think three and a half strikeouts is such a low number that he can give that even if he's giving up runs, even if he's giving up hits. So I am going to take McKenzie over three and a half strikeouts today. Let's head on over to pick number two. Let me swap that out over here. And that's going to be J.P. Sears under three and a half pitcher strikeouts versus the Diamondbacks. So J.P. Sears, I'm going to put it blunt. He's just not a good pitcher, right? Um, I never really liked J.P. Sears. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts. He tends to give up a lot of runs. And um, there's not really much to say about him. Now, we are going to look at his stats. We're going to go ahead and pull that up. I don't just say I don't like J.P. Sears. I'm taking his under. So let's pull up Outlier and let's take a look at J.P. Sears as well. And we can see his over two and a half earned runs is favored as well. Minus 140, minus 145. If that gets added to price picks, I would actually like that more than the under strikeouts. But right now they don't have that lineup. They just have the under three and a half strikeouts. Um, they don't have any of the, they have first inning runs allowed, which is going to be my third pick. But they don't have earned runs, walks allowed, uh, hits allowed, anything like that up right now. But we can take a look at under three and a half strikeouts. Over his last five games, he's went under in three out of five, a median of one, an average of 3.2. Over his last 10, he's went under in six out of 10, an average of 3.2, a median of 2.5. And 2024, this season, he's went under in 56% of games, nine of 16. Again, an average of three and a half, which is what his line is, and a median of two and a half. In away games this season, he's went under in 44%. So four of nine with a median of four and average of 3.7. Um, when we take a look at him versus the Diamondbacks, there's no data for us to look at. So we just have to go based off the Diamondbacks data and his data. He's going an average of five innings pitched per game. Recently, he is on the downtrend. As we said, he went five innings versus the Padres, only got one strikeout. Four and a half innings versus the Twins, got one. And then he went one inning versus the uh, Twins and got one as well. Um, Diamondbacks, middle of the pack, 14th in the league, strikeout percentage, 20.9%. Um, over their last 30 games, they have been striking out a lot, 27th in the league, 26.7% strikeout rate. Um, I tend to look at the season stats rather than just the last 30, but they are on that really bad downtrend. I will be honest about that. But then when you look at JP Sears. He gets an average of six strikeouts per nine innings, which is the bottom fourth percentile. And then he only has a 15.4% strikeout rate. So to put that into perspective, he strikes out one out of every six and a half batters. I mean, I just don't see him getting more than four strikeouts today. He might get three, he might get two, or he might just get one. But the Diamondbacks have been a pretty decent team at getting runs, getting hits. J.P. Sears gives up 1.33 walks and hits per inning. Um, I don't think we're going to have an issue with this today. We're going to take the J.P. Sears under three and a half strikeouts today. And then our third and our final play of the day is going to be the Dodgers versus Giants game. And we're going to take the under... 0.5 first inning runs allowed. So we're taking the no runs first inning um, for the Dodgers Giants game. I do believe this one will get taken down pretty quickly. It was around minus 145, minus 150 on the sports books that I looked at. If you can get it for minus 110, minus 115 somewhere, definitely do that instead of playing it on prize picks. But I do like this play on prize picks. Um, you can pair this with whatever you want, however you want to. But uh, definitely liking this pick. Both of these pitchers are projected for under two and a half earned runs, and both of those are positive EV, like minus 170 for under two and a half earned runs each. And when you look at their data over the past 10 games for both the Dodgers and the Giants, they just do not get runs in the first inning very often. So I'm loving this under. Um, let's go ahead and take it, guys. And that's going to be my third and final pick of the day. Thank you for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next video.